Tigers and welcome back to the world's greatest elementary school. We wanted to start out this week with a big thank you to all of our Tigers who donated those great books for our book drive benefiting the book stop at the Maple Valley Food Bank. Our Tigers donated several hundred books. Yes, hundreds of books. When we get the overall total from the other Toma schools, we will share that with you. But thanks, Tiger families, for helping us support the book stop. We also wanted to thank all of you who came to the PTA movie night last Friday. We had such a great time. Check out some of these pictures. The movie night was just one of our events that we're having this spring. I am looking forward to our next one, the biggest event of the year. On Wednesday, May 25th, we're having our celebration of learning. This event is going to be huge, Tigers. We're going to be showcasing our amazing student work, looking at art. The halls are going to look amazing. Now, you can participate in our optional science fair and present your project that night. And our fourth and fifth graders, you're invited to take part in our culture share, and you can do a project for that. This night is also when we're going to be doing our PTA basket raffle. We're asking each class to put together a basket and our PTA will be selling raffle tickets. You're going to be able to look at all the different class baskets. They're going to be awesome and decide which one you would want to win. Our PTA, like I said, is going to be selling raffle tickets and then you can use your tickets by putting them in the little baskets that are going to be next to the big baskets that you want to win. And then that night we're going to pick a winner for each basket. We already have have some pretty cool baskets that have been submitted. There's a couple of them I really want. Yeah. And we want to show you some of those pictures, so take a look at some of these pictures. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be. Tigers, there are only two weeks left of Workout Wednesday, this week and next. Make sure that you get out there over the next two Wednesdays to increase your mileage. We have a bunch of Tigers who have earned their half marathon awards and earned, and several earn even a full marathon. Yeah. A lot of you are getting close to each of those awards, so keep getting in those laps to earn those awards. All of you who make it to the full marathon will get your award on Wednesday, June 15th. Yes. Yes, that's going to be awesome. Yep. All right, Mr. Abby, I was wondering, uh, what's for lunch this week? Okay, here we go. This is this week's lunch menu. Today, let's see, Monday, how about chicken nuggets? Tomorrow, Tuesday is going to be corn dogs. Wednesday is Belgian waffle and string cheese. Ooh. Thursday, one of my favorites, mac and cheese. And Friday, Friday always confuses me. How about pizza? And then, hey, Tigers, on Saturday, June 11th, just like Mr. Mitchell mentioned last week, you and your family are invited to come to the ballpark for Tacoma Rainiers game. Tickets are available now for purchase for the game on June 11th. Ordering information is available on the PTA Facebook page. And then, Tigers, for all of our Tigers who are in attendance, you're invited to take part in singing the national anthem along with the students from Cedar River Elementary. We are excited for that night. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun. I love going to a Rainiers game. It's going to be great. Man, our PTA is doing so much great. That's all right. Tigers, we are so excited about having another Tiger Spirit Assembly on Friday. Yes. Make sure you wear your Tiger Lake shirt and wear blue or gray. So, Tiger Lake shirt, Tiger Shadow Lake shirt, wear blue or gray. It's going to be another fun assembly. We'll do our Tiger Chant, play some games, and show our Tiger Spirit. And Mr. Abby, I heard we're doing something with different Tiger Paws this week. What's going on? That's right, Mr. Mitchell. We're not going to pull Tiger tickets today to recognize them, but instead, we're going to ask each of our teachers to put in a Tiger Paw ticket from their class, and we're going to do a drawing at the assembly on Friday morning. So a special, a special all-school uh, prize drawing. So that means make sure on Friday that you show the Tiger way. Show respect, make good decisions, solve problems, and maybe your teacher is going to fill out a Tiger Paw ticket for you, and we can draw that and see which names are going to be drawn on Friday. Oh my gosh, I'm so looking forward to seeing everybody and all those winners on Friday. Hey, 
This Friday, May 20th, is also our elementary track meet. We want to wish the best of luck to all of our Shadow Lake Tigers who will be participating. We know you'll do your best. All right, Mr. Abby, what's going on with story time this week? All right, here we go. Today, Mrs. Smith is going to be reading the book called Ragweed's Farm Dog Handbook. Farm dog? That's right. I like that. All right, Tigers, we hope you have a fantastic week. At this time, please turn your attention to your teacher for the Pledge of Allegiance. And remember, it's a great day to be a tiger. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone. Hey Tigers, welcome back to Tiger TV. I've got another great story to read. Today, I'm going to read Ragweed's Farm Dog Handbook. And it says, learn from the best. This was an award-winning picture book um, in 2016. So maybe, I'm trying to think if any, I don't think anybody would remember this story. So ragweeds farm dog handbook learn from the best here we go i'm a ragweed i'm a farm dog and i'm really really good at it most dogs aren't but don't worry you'll be great you have the handbook here's the first thing you need to know the rooster wakes the farmer early in the morning. That's his job. That's not your job. Don't wake the farmer. You will really, really want to wake the farmer, but don't wake the farmer. If you do wake the farmer, you can get a biscuit just to go away. Next, you need to know about pigs. Pigs lie in the mud all day long and get bigger and bigger. That's their job. That's not your job. Don't lie in the mud. Mud is lovely. It smells like worms and toes and earwax. So you will really, really want to lie in the mud, but don't lie in the mud. If you do lie in the mud, you will get a bath which is not lovely at all, but you will get a biscuit after the bath. So, okay then. <laughs> now about chickens. Chickens sit on their nests and lay eggs. That's their job. That's not your job. Don't sit on their nests. You will really, really want to sit on their nests, but don't sit on their nests. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> if you do sit on their nests, you will get lots of feathers, but no biscuits. <laughs> bonus advice. Oh, let's see. Yeah, bonus advice. Pretend you were chasing a fox away and you will get three biscuits. And then down here it says, Give the fox one. <laughs> Sounds like teamwork there. Just to get biscuits. Sheep grow curly hair, which is used to make yarn to knit sweaters for city dogs. Sheep are fun to chase too, but that's not your job. Don't chase the sheep. You will really, really want to chase the sheep, but don't chase the sheep. Exception. If the farmer is away, chase the sheep. No biscuit, it's just worth it. <laughs> Cows eat grass all day and make milk. That's their job. That's not your job. Don't eat grass. You will really, really want to eat grass, but don't eat grass. If you do eat grass, you won't get a biscuit, but you will throw up a biscuit and you can eat that one again. 
So that's how to be a good farm dog. Let's review what you've learned. The rooster wakes the farmer. Pigs get bigger and bigger. Chickens lay eggs. Sheep grow curly hair. Cows make milk. And what's the farm dog's job? To get biscuits. Now here's the best part. Watch this. This is when I sit on the porch with the farmer. He pats my head and tells me I'm a good farm dog. Then I get a biscuit just for that. You're going to love this job. <laughs> and that is Ragweed's Farm Dog Handbook. All right. I think that's a handbook for all dogs. They just know how to get biscuits, right? All right, Tigers. I hope you had a great time um, enjoying that story. Have a great week. And remember, it's a great day to be a tiger. All right, you guys have a good one.